Hello guys and welcome to a vlog. Um, I'm starting this one on my phone because I'm going out for a walk and it's t-shirt weather so I've just got t-shirt and jeans on. Actually could be too warm because I'm in all black. I'm dressed like Johnny Cash today. <laughs> um, but so I don't have any pockets so I just didn't bring out my little vlogging camera. What a boring start to a vlog. <laughs> I hope you're all well. It's Wednesday. Um, days that we don't really matter anymore at the moment, do they? Um, and I sort of haven't vlogged for over a week. Uh, the response to my last vlog was so overwhelming, overwhelmingly, amazingly good. Um, and it kind of knocked me for six in a good way. But I was just like, oh my gosh, everyone is feeling the same way. Everyone is struggling so much with... Um, so many different things and just knowing we're going through this collectively is very soothing but just I mean it's just unprecedented isn't it and following on from that I just had an incredibly low week and while the general consensus um and rightly so was that you know don't hide what you're feeling or anything like that we're all going through this I just sort of was like a new level of low <laughs> for the entire week where I was like, no, I can't even talk to the camera right now. Um, today I feel a bit better, which is why I'm doing it. Uh, but yeah, I think there's gonna be lots more downs to come and everything. So we'll just have to take it as it comes, see how it goes. Hi. Um, and yeah, sorry, just got distracted then. So yeah, I'm out on a walk, my daily walk, going somewhere different this time because I feel like I have completed the malls more or less um, so mum took me out last night we went for an evening walk to on a different route and I'm gonna trace my steps a bit because there was a field full of gorgeous lambs which I thought might be quite nice to share in a video one second I'm zigzagging over the road to avoid people on the pavements um, but yeah that's the plan for today like I said it's gorgeous weather I'm actually am a bit too hot should have worn some shorts or something rather than all black and black jeans. Um, but yeah, let's do this walk and then I'll chat again later. camera I bought a um, digital camera I think I said this in the last vlog I can't remember if I did or not anyway I can't develop film obviously so I bought a digital camera so that I could still shoot some stuff share some blog posts and things uh, I bought a second hand Canon 5D Mark III so far so good you know when something feels like it's like I thought I was going to really struggle with it and it's and I'm not which makes me think I'm doing it wrong <laughs> You know when something feels too easy and you're like, no, I'm definitely, I'm definitely messing this up or cutting some corners somehow. Just trying to get a horse to come to me by presenting it. Juicier grass than it's got there that's so far. They couldn't be less interested. As they say, you can lead a horse to water. Or you can lean, lead a horse to greener grass, but you can't make it eat. Hello. Hello, hello. What's this? Hey. Excuse me. Hello. We oh, are lovely. Aren't you lovely? Yes. Yeah, let's get this on. <laughs> so peaceful everywhere, except for me yabbering on as I go. It's gorgeous though. I saw um, 
I've honestly become Dr. Doolittle. I saw some deers the other day running through a field that was gorgeous and also had the joy of watching a, I think it must have been a barn owl, it was a big white owl flying around a field and diving down and catching mice. It was amazing. I just stood captivated by it for ages. Oh my god, I just nearly stepped on that frog. Oh, that scared the living daylights out of me. I don't really love frogs that much, but as I'm Dr. Doolittle, I must try to be open-minded to all animals. I think he's okay. I don't desperately want to try and move him, but I did nearly step on him. I don't know whether I should try and make him move off the path. I mean, there's no one coming. Christ! I've been really upset if I killed him today. Garden. I feel like I finally got my reading mojo back. I've nearly finished The Gallows Pole by Benjamin Myers. Is that my name? Yeah. Um, and another one I just arrived, which I'll show you. Uh, that's just the sound of the door. Um, which I'll show you when I go back outside. Um, but yes, first, what was I going to tell you? I was going to tell you, oh, the walk was lovely. There was something else. There's two things. I can remember the second thing. I can't remember the first thing I was going to tell you. Anyway, it can't be that important because it will come back to me if it was. Um, but the second thing was that this video actually has a paid partnership in it with Majuri, the jewellery brand, who I've worked with in the past. Um, I've had this gold chain, this uh, top one that looks like an actual chain. I reckon since November, oh, I'm not sure, a few months definitely, which they sent me when I worked with them on some sponsored Instagram posts. Um, so I'm a big fan of the brand, but before we go into talking about the products, um, this is generally work-wise has gone really quiet in all of this, which um, is the case for so many people freelancing or whatever you're doing, it's a really uncertain time work-wise. Um, this collaboration with the majority would be organized ages ago. And the timing wise, times wise, it's just fallen here. Um, I do want to make clear that whatever I'm talking about online, I don't want people to feel pressured to spend money or pressured by consumerism or any of that in these uncertain times. Um, so I wanted to kind of say that at the beginning of talking about any products in this way, really, um, especially as it's sponsored and I'm being paid to talk about it as well. Um, but of course, for me, I'm like really thrilled to be working with a brand that I love so much and have worn pieces off for so long now. Um, and really glad that they also are happy to continue working with me through these uncertain times. It is just a huge, um, a huge bonus basically with things being so so uncertain. So I just wanted to say that I felt like I couldn't um, include a sponsorship in something without some sort of a disclaimer at the beginning. Um, but yeah, and no pressure to feel like you need to shop or need anything new if it's not what you feel like. We of course need to be thinking about the bigger picture here. But I do think jewellery is a nice thing to be wearing at the moment, just when you're in your comfies at home. Good thing about these necklaces, like I literally haven't taken off this gold one since I got it. And you can see how it's fine jewellery, so it's not, um, it won't tarnish or anything, but you really can see how like it's held the brightness of the gold up against this new one. The, the new one they've sent me is this snake chain, um, which I've got on with it. So the two of them are really good together. They're really easy to keep on all the time because they're quite short. By the way, I've got such sensitive skin whenever I touch my neck, it goes really red. So as we're doing this, my neck's going to get redder and redder. Um, but they're good because they're such a short length, like I sleep in them and everything. Longer chains, I always feel like I have to take off because they kind of get in the way of things a bit more. But these are just the perfect length to order it, put it on and never take it off again, basically. Um, so that, like I said, the new one that they sent me, I'll link both of them because they're all still available. But the new one they sent me is this flat snake chain, which is so nice. So, so nice. Um, you can see they kind of put, just poke out from under a uh, crew neck. I've actually got a dress on, but it's like the same length the t-shirt would be. The snake chain does have um, 
an adjustable fastening as well at the back. And then I also got the matching snake bracelet. I already had the matching chain bracelet, so I thought the snake bracelet would be quite a nice little, little matching set going on. Um, I haven't worn a watch since I lost my dad's watch. I just really, really haven't wanted to at all. Um, so I'm just enjoying having a bracelet on basically. And it looks so nice, especially if you've got a bit of a tan, which I don't have right now, but they do look really nice with a bit of tan too. Um, and I, like I said, I haven't taken the chain one off since I got it. And again, you can see how well the gold has held up. Um, and yeah, I really like the flat snake chain. They're obviously super classic. I'd say the flat one's maybe a bit more of a statement only because it's more obvious than a chain, but I think they're both really, really lovely. And a big thank you, like I said, to Majuri for working with me on this. That Everything will be linked in the description box as well. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are like pleased to have some intermittent chats about normal life, even if normal life is not ensuing. A normal life for lots of us is clothes and jewellery and lovely things like that that we all enjoy. I'm just making some Aperol spritzes for Mum and I. Start this new project on Instagram, um, which I'm going to do every week, where I pick a theme. This theme, this week's theme was the colour orange, hence the Aperol. And it will be like a creative project for everybody to um, um, create content throughout the week with the theme in mind. So I'm going to post mine today and then um, at, the at the end of the week, so I'm running the week Wednesday to Wednesday because days of the week are just, well, they're just sort of irrelevant at the moment, aren't they? Um, and then at the end of the week, I would share my favourites that you guys all did as well. There's already been so many. It was one of those things that I had the idea and then thought, is this a really lame idea? Like, is it good or not? But you guys loved it and it's so nice because I thought I, the reason I wanted to do it was that we're all stuck at home. Our worlds have got so much smaller and it can feel really repetitive, really uninspiring. Even if you're not working creatively, it can just feel like Groundhog Day being in the same space all the time. And we've never experienced, well, most of us have never experienced this level of just your home feeling a bit like a prison, basically. Um, and so... I thought doing something like this not only would help me in my content creation, but it's just really helpful to make you see your surroundings differently when you have a new focus. Or like even today when I went on a walk, I was like, the colour orange is actually everywhere. And you wouldn't you wouldn't notice it unless you're prompted to notice it. So every week, I don't think I'll just do colours, I think I'll try and do different things. But each week there'll be a new theme for us on Instagram. And I'm doing a hashtag called shot with the theme i keep wanting to call it shot from the theme shot with the theme and as long as you use the hashtag then i can see them all but there's already been hundreds like mental which is so exciting because i'm so glad that people are being able to just see things with a fresh eye basically and hopefully just for that reason feel a bit more inspired with what is feeling really 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 boring and repetitive right now or going through photos you already have and seeing them differently having that nice trip down memory lane um, Mum's ice machine is broken, so we have to get ice from the top like this. So yeah, that's been really exciting. I thought of it. I thought of it yesterday. I was sat on the grass and I took a picture of some orange things, and I was like, oh, that'd be quite a good way for me to like focus my own content creation in terms of doing carousels, making it less feel less repetitive. And then I was like, wait a minute, Elizabeth, send this idea out. Um, and it's a perfect excuse to have an Aperol spray. It's like we need an excuse. So let's just check the... Oh, God. Do you know what? I'm good at them. I'm good at them. I don't know how to work this, though. So. Oh, Mum has got everything, like this fancy Prosecco topper thing. She does nothing this household doesn't have. It's ridiculous. Right, just a slice of an orange. Um, and then make mum take photos of me in the garden. Isn't it just such a funny old time? We spoke to Luigi uh, earlier in the week. He's doing really well. He's just really bored and really fed up. And he said, I'm not motivated because, you know, there's nothing to work on. 
but he's fine. I know lots of you are asking about him because he, obviously living in Italy, oh, look at that juicy, juicy orange, but he's doing really well. Um, what am I doing with this? How much orange do I want? I've really messed this up. Just look at those. Likely need more inspiration for orange, the best. The state of my bedroom. It's criminal, absolutely criminal. We're gonna deal with that later. Um, I don't know if we come. Um, I'm just heading back outside, I'm gonna talk about books, but I just got changed because it's gotten a bit cooler now. So I put on my favorite comfies from Our Care. These, um, this is a very nice picture by the way, mum. Um, cashmere ones from Our Care, which I've been living in. They also sent me them in a dark gray, which I'll show you. And this t-shirt, which arrived this week, um, is from a company called Good Tea Co, Good Tea Company. Um, and it very much does what it says on the tin, telling us to stay home and support our NHS. 100% of the proceeds of these t-shirts go to um, the hardest hit ICUs in the UK. They're made in Brighton, like eco-friendly, all that good stuff. I'll leave a link in the description box. Um, just if you need like more, I've got a medium by the way, they also come in black, but if you need more around the house stuff or like just stuff to sleep in or whatever, then it would be good to buy stuff that is also helping a cause so I'm wearing mine this evening. I'm gonna go outside and mum's gonna go, what's that t-shirt like? <laughs> Good morning guys. Um, it's like quarter to 11. Uh, I'm wearing a very nice 90s cap hoodie. Just making the most of what's in the cupboard. <laughs> um, let me just pop you down so I can look at my computer and talk to you at the same time. Um, I just did a workout this morning as you saw. Now I'm just having a coffee and I'm gonna get showered in a second and get dressed and try and do a bit of work today. Whoop, we're sliding. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's okay. Um, just going through some emails and watching Daphne do her daily task of sitting on the wheelie bins for hours at a time. She really doesn't do anything more than that with her day. Um, what was I gonna to talk to you about? nothing in particular but just come in to check in and say good morning um how am i feeling today i feel okay today um i'm excited to start a new book the book that i've got is the herd let me go grab it for you actually so i can properly show you i feel like i'm slowly getting my flow back with reading but i still want to read things which are easier to keep your head in so this is the herd by andrea bartz i think it's a bit of a thriller so i'll let you know i'm going to start this today hopefully make some good progress on it I managed to read like over 100 pages yesterday of a book, which I haven't managed to do. Since this all started, I haven't had that much um, concentration for reading. But I'm excited to start this. Then after this one, I might tackle Shantaram. If I have a good, a good run with this, I feel like then I'll be back into the headspace of tackling something that feels a bit more daunting. Um, so yes, that's the plan for today. I'll get dressed, show you what I wear. It's going to be the same stuff as always. Um, I ordered some nail varnish online, which is going to arrive today. So I'm going to paint my nails and hopefully that might make me feel a bit nicer. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. It's quite grey here, which is frustrating because it's really sunny in London. I should keep looking at the London weather and I shouldn't because I'm not there. It's like 24 degrees and sunny in London and it's about 15 and grey here. Um, but yeah, other than that, all is well in the world um well it's not at all is it but i'm feeling well just i'm just feeling things is what i'm feeling <laughs> what do you want i want a piece of that no <laughs> have that then <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating all the bananas that I bought last time. <laughs> so you eat the bananas. I'll eat this. Oh, I'll eat this. 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 I'll eat this.
vlogging. <laughs> you haven't been in the vlog for a few days, so I'm just making sure everyone knows you're here and alive and well. Yeah. Oh, you're not. We're not breaking the rules. New jigsaw started here. Ooh. Well, I might do a bit of this now. Oh, it's just one that Veronica brought round. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have a go at that. No picture. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I might try to put a couple of pieces in. And I'm also I've started reading Shantaram. 100 pages in, and I'm already enthralled with it. This is a very me book. So now I feel like I can manage something that's nearly a thousand pages. So I'm pleased with that. Gin and tonic on the go, and I'm also gonna crack open this modest egg which I'm very excited about oh guys these are the shorts from COS I've not got them with a very good outfit right now just with my weekday hoodie but they're so good I'll try to show you them properly with a proper outfit um, tomorrow well they're on my Instagram as well but they're um I got them in a size 10 because I wanted them to be a, a bit loose and just comfy around the house um but they're really good and then maybe come the summer um when we're at, allowed out I will take them in a bit so that they actually fit a bit better but they are so good and everyone on Instagram has been loving them so I'm really pleased with those let me carry on with the task I was doing this egg. Oh, oh. oh my god. I don't even know where to begin with this. Uh, it's too beautiful. I'm going to get told off because I'm going to make a mess somehow with this. Sliding down. Oh. Why is it breaking? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's enough to put me on. Promise guy, I'm just showing you these cos shorts properly. Um, it's a lot cooler today, so I'm not actually going to wear them today, and they're a bit creased because they've been in the drawer. But yeah, I got them in a size 10, which is a 36. Um, and there's a lot of space in them, but they are elasticated, and I like the way the bigger size sort of slings on the hips a bit, which is quite nice. Um, they're just the perfect length, shape, everything. Lots of people asked on Instagram if they were see-through and initially I said no and then wore them with black knickers yesterday and they are a bit. I've got black knickers on now. I'm trying to... I mean, they're really not that see-through. You can kind of see. Not that bad. I would wear them with black knickers out and about, but that might just be me. <laughs> um, but yeah, really recommend them. At the moment, or oh, when I ordered them anyway, COS had 20% off their new spring stuff as well with like a code which was on the website so you'll see it easily i'll link them and hopefully they still have the offer on anyway um but yeah i'm not actually going to wear them today but this would be a good outfit i just got on that and other stories jumper that you saw back when i was in london sad face um i'm wearing this quite a lot around the house it's really comfortable sometimes a turtleneck really annoys me at home or a funnel neck or whatever because it's like constantly being faffed at but this one doesn't annoy me, it doesn't faff at me, so I'm pleased with that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to pop up on some jeans. hope we can all agree that because we're trying to get dressed every day, normally wearing jeans around the house is a sign of being a psychopath, but I don't think it counts when you're in the house every day, all day. I think you're allowed to wear them and not be a psychopath at the moment. Now that I am dressed and a little bit more presentable, although this fringe is just doing its own thing. I thought I'd talk about some skincare stuff. I, um, I feel like I've already said, really messed up with packing coming home, which included skincare and things like that. I literally just brought like my face wash and moisturizer 
nothing else. I had sort of stripped back my skincare routine anyway, so that it was kind of in line with that. But now I'm going to add a few new bits into it. And the Roche Pose sent me some stuff because everyone out of my, well, almost run out of my favourite cleanser from them. So they really sent me one of those. Um, and they also sent me, which I've been using in the mornings, the Vitamin C Serum. So far, I really like it. I've only used it for like three days. So I feel like I can't comment too much on it yet. But so far, so good. They also sent me their Retinol which I haven't opened yet, as you can see. I'm gonna wait a bit, just wait and just use the vitamin C for a bit first and see how my skin goes with that. Um, but I will let you know how that retinol is once I have used it. And um, also, what else? Oh, this is um, like a body lotion. It's from the kids range um, and it's really thick, really, really thick, but so good. It makes your skin ridiculously soft. I hate fragrance body lotions because I feel like the smell really sticks on my skin all day long um, and interferes with any nice perfume I'm wearing. So this is getting a big thumbs up. And then to sort of try and attempt to have a little bit of colour on my skin, um, I've ordered myself, I used to use this all the time and haven't really used it for a few years. It's the Clarins Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. You just put a few drops of it in your moisturiser. I also bought the one for body as well, which I haven't tried yet. Um, but this is always really good. It never used to break me out, but we'll see how we get on. And I'll let you guys know, of course. Um, it's just like a few drops in your moisturiser, like I said. It smells of honey. And then it gives you a bit of a glow. You can tell I've had some on last night and this morning. And I feel like I look a little bit more glowing. Um, uh, but yes, that was what I wanted to talk to you about nail varnish as well I should mention this is I ordered it from Cos with the shorts by Jay Hannah um that she's so many gorgeous colors like really sort of different nice earthy tones lots of them and this is a yellowy one I really like it for the first hour I had it on I hated it because I haven't had a solid color on my nails in nearly a year I reckon so for the first hour I was like oh whose hands are they oh the whole time um but now I really like it I've had this on for about four days and it hasn't chipped or anything so it's quite impressive for nail varnish um that concludes what I want to talk to you about in terms of beauty products which I feel like maybe you will all feel a bit more like investing in at the moment as opposed to other things and just nice to give our skin a rest and stuff I've barely been wearing any makeup every day um and it's always nice when your skin gets a bit of a reset like this even though I've still been getting my cheek breakout, but I really do think it's stress. I can't think, um, I accidentally stopped recording then. I was saying that I think it's stress because I can't think what else it could be, basically. Um, but yeah, I will link all the things I just mentioned in the description box, all the La Roche-Posay things. It's like one of my favorite skincare brands, as you guys know. Really good if you've got sensitive skin, which I do. Um, and now I'm gonna go for a long walk on the moors, feeling a tad stir crazy and bored today and then when I get back I'm going to do a bit of a book update with you all and see where I'm at with books because I just edited this vlog and I've been kind of mentioning books really sporadically throughout it and I feel like I need to just sit down and talk about them properly um so we know where we're at with reading and stuff so that is the plan I'm gonna go for a walk and hopefully just settle a bit bye <laughs> Um, hello guys, I'm here to sign off this vlog. Oh, is that my foot funny? Wearing this blue Uniqlo jumper for a change. Um, ha, ha, ha. And having a glass of wine, a Riesling. Um, just about to sit, settle in and read my book for the evening. Um, so I thought I would finish the vlog by talking about books. Um, so I finished The Herd by Andrea Hertz. It was like, what would I say about it? It wasn't that good. I didn't really connect with the characters that much at all. And I don't know, it was very good to get back into reading though. So if you're struggling with reading and you want something that's, you can't put down and it was a page turn and like, there was quite a few chapters where it ended and I was like, oh, I need to know what happens next. So it was good for that reason, but not, I don't know. I haven't even thought about it once since I finished reading it. And now I've moved on to Shantaram about four pages into this 600, uh, 900 page monster. It doesn't even look like it's a 900 page book, which is really annoying. Um, and every, cause I, I said on Instagram, like oh, I'm really struggling with reading at the moment. And so Shantran feels way too daunting. Loads of people were like, no, try it. You'll be surprised. 
and I can see why everyone said that it's super fast paced so much happens in one chapter you can just sort of get through pages and pages and pages of it so quickly um for any of you who haven't read it it's it's sort of partly autobiographical I think quite a lot of it's fiction as well but um the author Gregory David Roberts it is about his experiences in India and he's an Australian man who um was had heroin, heroin addiction and was in prison for armed robbery and escapes from prison and then you pick up his story when he goes to India when he's on the run and then it's about his experience in India um it's possibly one of the most self-absorbed narcissistic books I've ever begun to read it's unbelievable like I've been rolling my eyes the whole way through it the stuff that he just writes about himself is crazy it's just very masculine in lots of ways I would say but lots happens in a chapter and I can I am really really enjoying it I can see why it's so popular um and I think I love to find balance so much I just really enjoy books set in India so I've also ordered The God of Small Things is that what it's called I can't remember the author and Kite Runner um which is the first in a three-part series but they which is the second one in that the Thousand Suns, The Blade of a Thousand Suns, something like that. And that was out of stock online. I looked on Amazon, so I need to look on some more places, actually. Um, so that's my little book update. I've got lots on the way to me as well. So I'm just trying to power through this and hopefully finish this within the week, really. Um, so yes, that concludes this vlog, which has been a long one. I've vlogged over like over a week, which is, I have to think for this current climate is the way I'm going to do it going forward just because it's a lot easier to uh, oh sorry I just dropped the phone it's a lot I'm just trying to make it go a bit darker there we go because it's a lot easier to I don't know make it feel less repetitive and less boring because obviously I'm not doing very much day to day um but yeah even from the beginning of this vlog to now I'm feeling a bit better day to day um yeah, it's still really difficult. I feel like everyone is still struggling with lots of different things, but um, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you again to Majuri. I've still got all the pieces on for um, also working with me and part of this vlog as well. There's also a discount code, which I didn't think I mentioned, but it's in the description box um, if you do want to shop anything. Um, and yes, that's everything. I'm just gonna keep vlogging. I'll do the next vlog on my camera instead of the phone. <laughs> And so I will see you whenever I finally get a vlog together again. Sort of not putting too much pressure on myself for it because like I said, I'm not up to much, so not too much to share. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.